Hi guys! This week I wanted to work on my pastry skills. So in this video we will be preparing a fancy gourmet style vegan dessert a la David Vidal style. If you are following any contemporary pastry chefs, you might have noticed that it's very trendy right now to include thousands of components on a dessert plate. The more it seems, the better. As you might have noticed, I already started preparing the first component to our dessert. And these are clear fruit chips, specifically apples and oranges. The main thing to keep in mind here is that you need to slice them as thin as your knife skills allow you. And time. It takes a lot of time to get them dehydrated and properly cooked. In my oven it took me 3 hours, so I prefer to do them first. Line them up on a baking tray with parchment paper or a silicone mat if you prefer. Cover with another piece of parchment paper, close with another baking tray and put some heavy weight on. Don't forget also to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Put your baking tray set up in the oven and bake with weight on for about 2 hours until your chips become translucent. Then take the weight and the top tray off and dehydrate for another one hour until they are crisping up. Meanwhile, we can start with another component, which is also our star ingredient, ice cream. In order to make ice cream with a creamy texture, one needs invert sugar. I already have made a video on the invert sugar preparation Click the link in the top right corner of this video to find out the step-by-step -step guidance for that. It's really easy to make and takes only a few minutes. All you need is some sugar, water, cream of tartar or a lemon juice and a food thermometer. For this vegan ice cream recipe we will need only 50 ml of invert sugar. Now. It's time to process all the ingredients for our ice cream. I initially wanted to use some fresh apples for this recipe, but due to time constraints, at the end I've settled on using the frozen fruit mix that I already had in my freezer. So you can also use any frozen fruits that you already have. Process them in a food processor to a pure consistency. Add some invert sugar that you've just made, coconut cream and coconut milk, and pulse again until it's all evenly blended together. Then take a container of your choice, transfer your ice cream mix in, smooth the surface out with a spoon or an offset spatula and put it in the freezer for about 2-3 hours. By this time all the rest of the dessert components should be ready as well. Next, I'm gonna leave you for a few seconds with a b-roll of a pomegranate butchering. Just because pomegranate looks always so good and you might want to take a moment to take this all beauty in. By the way, do you usually de-seed your pomegranate using the same technique or a different one? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, it's enough for now. Have you guessed already what we are going to do with all these pomegranate seeds? Yep! A pomegranate jam! So delicious! Transfer the seeds in a medium sized pot, add some sugar and a few drops of water and let it all simmer for about half an hour. Meanwhile, we can start the sponge toffee preparation process. It takes a while, so why not now? I hope you are not too confused by now with all the meanwhiles. The sequence of this footage in this video is exactly in the same order as I was cooking it. 
So, put some sugar and glucose in a small size pot, turn on low heat and let it all melt. It should take about 10 to 15 minutes to get to this point. By this time, jam should be almost ready. Pass the content of our jam pots through a sieve and discard the seeds. That's exactly the consistency that we are looking for. After tasting it, however, I've decided to add a few drops of lemon juice for an extra kick. Perfect. Once your sugary mixture for the sponge toffee reaches 325 degrees Fahrenheit, take it over the heat and add the baking soda. Mix and immediately transfer to a tray with a lightly oiled parchment paper or a silicone mat. There is not a single second to spare at this stage of the recipe. It's extremely time sensitive and must be executed perfectly. Let the lava-like toffee mixture cool down in peace for about 15 minutes. Then you can go ahead and cut it to desirable size pieces using a serrated knife. Finally, the last one of our dessert components that I'm going to show you today. Plant-based meringues. Sounds impossible, but I've tried it and it works perfectly. The main magic ingredient here is aquafaba, simply known as chickpea water. Take a can of cooked chickpeas and drain the liquid in which those chickpeas were sitting out. This liquid is called aquafaba. Easy! So, set up your stand mixer, start whipping and add some cream of tartar. It will help to stabilize the meringues. Keep on whipping for about 2-3 to three minutes on the highest speed until soft peaks. Then you can start adding your icing sugar, spoon by spoon, while continuously whisking and keep on doing so until firm peaks will form, like this. Now, the meringue base is ready, time to start piping. Here you have two options, just like with ordinary meringues, either to bake them for another two hours at low heat or to leave them as they are and lightly torch. I chose the latest option. No time for baking now. Although I did bake all that was left later on, my yummy snack. As you can see, I've piped the meringues on my apple crisps that we've cooked at the beginning of this video, so I can move them around and place just where I wanted them to be on my plate. Here comes the time for final vegan gourmet dessert plating. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and it had inspired you to go and work on your pastry skills or create some new desserts or plating. Please don't forget to like this video, leave some comments below if you want to support my channel and subscribe. That's it for today, I'll see you in the next video.